Hey, this is Dave Allred, and I've got another product review here for you. Now, this one is, let me show you, it's for a Stark USA in-ground pool pump. And as you can see some of the specs here, it is a one and a half horsepower. Um, you can see the voltage, the model number, all of that stuff. Uh, shoots out uh, 84 gallons per minute, which is uh, fairly decent. Um, I actually haven't been able to test this one out yet. My pool is winterized. And we don't use our pool in the winter, obviously. And, uh, you know, here on the instructions or the, the, the caution says do not run pump dry. Obviously, it's not good for your swimming pool pump to run it dry. So uh, I haven't been able to test it out yet. But what I'll do is I will come back and leave some more feedback once I am able to run it and test it out and give you an idea of uh, what, it's, what it's like as far as the sound noise, um, you know, how it does as far as uh, pumping water and uh, all that stuff. Give you some good feedback on it. But uh, anyway, so far, just to give you um, kind of a, a rundown on the pump as I see it so far, I mean, it's a nice pump. Um, you know, it's got good weight to it. Obviously, it should, you know, because of the motor. But, I mean, it's uh, it seems to be built quality. There's a couple of different features about this pump that I, that I like and some that I'm not sure about. It's just different. Um, it's not necessarily bad, but it's just different than what I'm used to that I'll show you. So let's take a look at the lid here real fast. The lid is actually a little bit different than uh, than the lid I currently have. Um, the only difference is, is the fact that this plastic part in the middle is a free spinning. You can kind of see um, the gasket itself on the lid. This The lid gasket is around the plastic part. And uh, so it's kind of free spinning from the... The actual um, uh, case it's in, which isn't a bad thing, um, it's just different. But uh, I mean, it all seems steady, you know, nice and sturdy, and, and uh, looks like it'll last really, really well. Easy to put on and off. Let's take a look at the inside here real quick. Uh, nice, nice basket, nice quality baskets. Uh, definitely sturdy basket. Um, nice deep pocket down in here. The only difference between this basket and how you insert it with my other pumps is if I tried to put this in a different way, it wouldn't go in because there was a little shelf in there that kind of prevented it from going in wrong. You know, in the, in the event that you put it in the wrong way, you know, the water's trying to come in here and filter and it's all just kind of getting plugged up right here in the very beginning. Um, it would stop it and it would come out, it would stay out partially so that you couldn't put it in wrong. This one, it doesn't have that feature. You know, you just got to make sure, be more conscientious that you're putting it in right. And that way you don't get a buildup right here and actually goes into the basket and filters properly. Um, which, again, not a bad thing. Just one little thing that's different from the pump that I do have, which is a major name brand pump. Um, for the price point, though, currently this one was listed for, uh, you know, at least... It was actually almost a third of the price of what I paid for the other pump. Um, I get the same horsepower on this one. And, uh, you know, the connections are a slightly different size on uh, one or two spots. But, uh, you know, not a big deal. If you if you know how to use PVC, you can be able to correct that pretty easily. Um, but uh, price point wise, you can't you can't deny this as a, a replacement pump for your pool. Um, so just to kind of give you an idea of what comes with the pump, you get a little diagram here of how to connect the plug if you want to do the plug. This pump, um, some people complain about there not being a, a switch on the pump itself. I've never had a switch on a pump. I've always had to hard, hardwire it to a switch if that's what I wanted to do. But here it gives you a diagram of what to do. You know, gives you two different diagrams. You also get a, a handy little uh, user manual here for you know, some of the specs and, and how to wire it and all that stuff. Uh, let me just show you an idea. I actually unscrewed these already for you so I can just show you. Uh, there's this the spot right in there, if my camera will focus, right in here of the diagram. And you can kind of see the different posts in here and compare them to the diagram. But it's a it's pretty simple to set up, not, not that difficult at all. Even if you're not an electrician, you can do this. Pretty simple stuff. Just make sure that, of course, your breaker is turned off before you do wire anything hardwire anything all right so that's pretty much it so what i plan on doing since it is winter time my pool's winterized i have not had a chance to um to run this pump i've gotten feedback from other places that i've read that say it's a very quiet nice pump works perfectly has been working for a long time 
Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to come back here and on Amazon and I'm going to leave my review a year from now, um, or actually this summer and I'll give you an idea of what it's like as far as running and how it operates. Um, but so far so good. I really like the pump. And, uh, just one thing I forgot to mention is a little plug here for drainage, you know, for winterizing and that sort of thing. But, uh, great pump. Looking forward to using it. I did receive it in exchange for my unbiased opinion, which is what you just saw in the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And uh, I'll see you in about uh, a couple months here. When it, it's right now, it's in January, so three, four months, and I'll leave, leave a little bit more review on this uh, this awesome little pump.